Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. It's Lil Steiner Inspires coming at you live with your espresso shot of inspiration. Today is Friday, September 13th. And so I'm coming on with your espresso shot of inspiration. But before I do that, before I deliver this good word, this message that will encourage you, inspire you, and motivate you, my name is Lil Steiner Inspires. I am an award-winning author, I'm a healing and recovery accountability expert and coach, I'm an international inspirational speaker, and I'm the founder and creator of Healing is a Journey, a quarterly series of conferences designed to help those who have gone through abuse and trauma start living their best healed life. So without further ado, today's message is be still. Um, this is like... As you can see, I'm super excited, super hyped. I've been up since like 3.30, um, just studying, reading, t talking to God, spending quality time, um, writing in my journal. And as I've been, said before in previous messages, I am allowing God to just flow through me. And um, each message that I get is not pre-planned. Um, I study the word and I just talk to God and as he downloads inspiration to me i write it out and see it is the message that he wants me to deliver to the people which is you so thank you for tuning in no matter what time of day that you tune in i want to thank you i appreciate you make sure you share 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 like drop some comments in the in the comment section questions um let's be interactive let's be engaging there may be some things that maybe you want me to talk about um in the future or if you have questions or concerns Definitely inbox me, drop it on the comment section, just an open, safe space, no judgment here. Um, and so the message is be still. And I, last night I was in a place of just in awe of God. I was just like, man, um, as I mentioned before, I'm in a period, a season in my life where I'm doing some radical faith moves where I'm like, trusting God completely for every move, every act, every decision, every creative thing that's going on in my life right now, from finances to parenting, to singlehoodness, to business, to branding, ministry, everything I am have laid before God is like, okay, I will not make a move until you tell me to. And I am a grinder. I love what I do. I I am always constantly trying to be, improve myself, be better, work, work, work. And I'm in a season where God is like rest to be still. And for most, that will be like super exciting. You get to rest and I work so hard. Um, for me, that is like work. Cause um I like to grind. I love what I'm doing. But I realized that the ultimate blessing and being still is watching God move, using you, move through you, move with you, uh, move around you. And so I wanted to, and there was two scriptures that came to mind because I always have, I've heard, you know, be still and know that I'm God. Like I've heard that and I know that that is um, part of the scriptures, but I wanted to make sure that when I brought you this message, you can apply the actual scripture to whatever situation you may be going to, through. So last night I was talking to my sister, best friend, and you know, I talk to her about everything. I love her. That's my, that's my best friend. That's my road dog. It's like, man, you know. And so I was just telling her, like, man, I'm in awe of God. He's using me just greatly. And I'm humble, but I'm also amazed at just um, how he's using me. And she was like, you know, this is amazing to be able to see God's word, you know, manifest in real time. And I'm like, what do you mean? She was like, be still and know that I'm God. And what you're doing is being still and allowing God to do what he does. And I, I wanted to cry because I was like, yeah, wow. I never thought of it like that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, you know, when God said rest, I was like, oh, okay. I'll rest it there too. <coughs> I'm sorry. But I've literally have been at peace with planning my day out. But not in any rush, setting a list of things that I need to do to work on, but not overwhelming my schedule and putting so much into it that I can't have time to just sit and relax. And yesterday was one of those days where I cooked, I exercised, I ran an errand, I worked on some things for my business, both my business business and personal business. And I was just 
chilling on the couch watching TV, just lazy. Um, and I won't call it lazy, just relaxing. And I'm like, I should, probably should get up and do some more stuff. But I didn't feel the need to. And I was just like, oh, you know. Um, and for a, a brief moment, I felt a little bit guilty for just relaxing. And I started to think, like, I've worked hard, like, all my life. And there's nothing wrong with just relaxing and learning how to be still. And so... I wanted to look up the definition of be and still as two separate words. So be says exists, occur, take place. Still, not moving, deep silence and calm. And so I thought about it like to just be in a in a one place and to exist, not moving silently and calmly, to me sounds like the ultimate rest and peace and so i was just like oh my goodness god so you're ha i'm in a season where not only are you asking me to trust you but i'm also in a moment of a place where i'm at deep rest and peace and i'm unbothered i think i, I did a video last week a lot of last week talking about being unbothered but this is another whole another level of unbothered where I know where my help comes from and it's from the Lord. And though in real world, I should be stressing about how my situation might look on paper right now. But in God's timing, I know that if he's asked me to be still and trust him, if he's asked me to just rest, that means he already has like everything planned out. He's about to show up and show out. And what greater testimony to the glory of God is just knowing that you you were obedient, and though on the outside it looked like you were just doing nothing with your life, but God knew what He gave the instructions He gave you, and then He showed up and showed out. That's a greatest testimony to the glory of God. And so, I want to. There were two scriptures that came to mind. The first one was Psalms thirty-seven seven. It says, "Be still in the presence of the Lord, and wait patiently for Him to act." Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. That's the first scripture. The second one is Psalms 46.10. It says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be honored by every nation. I will be honored throughout the world. And so when I think about that, it's they, God is basically telling us, don't worry. Trust him. He got you. There's no name above his name. There's no one above him. There's no CEO. There's no boss. There's no no person uh, in any any uh, office that is above him. So whatever he says, 